Good morning, year one. I hope you're all well. I have just currently put my flapjacks in the oven, so it smells delicious in my room at the moment. And I cannot wait to try them with a nice cup of tea. So watch out for my baking video on Weedock, okay? Right, so for today's lesson, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ordering, sequ sequencing, sorry, our Little Red Riding Hood story. So in your work pack, you should have six pictures and you should have some space to write some sentences, okay? I didn't have mine, so I've had to just quickly draw mine. So I've already put my two pictures in order already. Okay, when we are writing our sentences, I really want us to challenge ourselves today. I want us to write more than just one sentence. I want us to write two or three sentences. And this will really help us understand our understanding of capital letters and full stops. It will add more detail to our work for the reader to picture in their mind. And it will also allow you to include more adjectives in your writing to make it more interesting for the reader. OK, so that's what we're going to work on today. So for my first picture that I've done for the sequence sim is Little Red Riding Hood. Now, for the purpose of my writing, I'm just going to call her Little Red today because Little Red Riding Hood is quite long. So I'm just going to call her Little Red. OK, you can do the same if you would like. So I'm going to introduce Little Red. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have got my coloured pens with me. I have got my purple if I want to include any adjectives. I've got my green pen to represent my capital letters. And I've got my red pen to represent my punctuation. So if I use a full stop, if I use a question mark, etc. OK, so let's think about my first picture. I want to introduce my main character, Little Red. And I know in a fairy tale, they usually start with once upon a time. I'm not going to write all of that. I'm going to write once there was a girl called Little Red. So that's eight words. So I've said it out loud. It makes sense. So now I can start writing. So get my green pen. Making sure my capital letter is bigger than my lowercase. I've just drawn all over myself. Brilliant. There we go. So once. If you need help spelling once, it will be in your word mat in your pack. OK, so once there. T, uh, 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 once there was now was is one of our tricky words. Can you say it out loud for me? Well done. W uh, you think it's was with a z, but it's a s. Okay. Have I got my finger spaces? Check. So once there was. Uh, and I'm going to describe Little Red as a little, so a little. Or seeing as though little, her name is Little Red, I might call her, uh, describe her as small. So I'm going to get my purple to represent my adjective. Once there was a mm, a, or once there was a small girl. Oh, we used, um, we learnt this sound, sorry, yesterday. Can anyone remember? G, uh, oh, girl. What's our er uh, sound? Well done, I and R make the sound er. Uh. So once there was a small g, uh, or once there was a small girl called k, a, uh, or, or, a, uh, d. Now, because I am writing Little Red's name, when I'm writing somebody's name, what do I need? Well done, I need a capital letter. So I've got my green pen again. To show that it's a name, I'm going to use my capital letter called Little 
making sure I've got my tall letters. So my t and my all need to be taller, bigger than my f and my i. Okay, that's something I want you to work on. Oh, I need my green pen again. F. D. Well done. So let's just check my sentence. Once there was a small girl called Little Red. And I finished my sentence, so I've got my red felt tip to represent my full stop to show my sentence has finished. Lovely. Now I'm going to talk about where she is going. <clears throat> so where is Little Red going? She is going to her grandma's house. Okay, so I want you to help. I want you to think of a sentence now that I can write next, please. Okay, thank you for your help. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, that's better. So my sentence is going to be, she went to go visit her grandma. So that is seven words, okay? I am starting a new sentence. So again, I need my green pen to show that I'm going to do a capital letter. Okay, so again, it's nice and big, my capital letter. She went, another tricky word, can you help me spell it? Well done. She went to... Go, making sure my g is hanging off the line. Go visit it. She went to go visit her. her uh, that's our other er uh, sound that we learned in phase three, but it is spelt differently. So we've got two different er uh, sounds there. Well done. She went to go visit her grandma. Brilliant. And I have finished my sentence. What do I need? Full stop. Well done. Lovely. Now I just need to go over my sentence. Sentences, sorry. To check it all makes sense. So can you help read it together with me? Once there was a small girl called Little Red. She went to go visit her grandma. Lovely. Now I'm going to move on to my next sentence who who does little red meet in the woods she does meet a big bad wolf doesn't she so my sentence now for this picture is going to be in the woods little red met a big bad wolf so that's 10 words in my sentence so we really need to concentrate and make sure we've included every single word in this sentence, okay? So, in I, mm, the, do I need a capital T for the? I don't know because it's not at the beginning. It's not a name. It's not a place. So, in the woods. Now, if you want, you could describe the woods. So in the deep, dark woods, that would be a really good sentence. In the woods, little red. So again, I need a capital letter for her name. Little, I know how to spell little, I'm going to check up here. Little Red met. Ooh, let's just check if I've got all my words here. In the words Little Red met. Ah, now I'm using some adjectives now. So what colour do I need? Purple, well done. A big bad Wolf, and that's one of our key words, so we should all know how to spell wolf. Oh, oh. Brilliant. 
Now that is the end of my sentence, so I need a red full stop. Okay, again, let's check our sentence. In the woods, Little Red met a big bad wolf. Fantastic. So I'm going to include a question I think in my next sentence. So what did the big bad wolf ask Little Red? He asked, where are you going? <coughs> so I'm going to write, the wolf asked, where are you going? So that's seven words. So start my sentence. The The wolf asked, ask. So it sounds like asked, but it's asked. It's the um, suffix ed, okay? An e eh and a d. So the wolf asked, <coughs> where? R, A, R, F, where are you? There's lots of tricky words here. Are you going? G, O, I, N, G. Now, for my punctuation, would I need a full stop or would I need a question mark? I would need a question mark because I have asked or the wolf has asked a question. So when I'm doing my question mark, looks like a cur like a curve, straight line, and then a full stop, a, a dot underneath, sorry. Okay. So let's check our sentence. In the woods, Little Red met a big bad wolf. The wolf asked, where are you going? Question mark. Fantastic. So I'm just going to leave that part there and then I would draw or you would stick in your next part of the story. If you want, you can use your own pictures because I know the pictures are a little bit different to our version of Little Red Riding Hood. OK, so as you can see, I've included all my capital letters, I've got my finger spaces, I've got my punctuation, I've got my adjectives, my handwriting is nice and neat, I've got my tall letters, my hanging letters. So that is what I would like you to work on. And again, I would like you to challenge yourself and write just that little bit more, okay? You can see that I've included a lot more information in my pictures, so that's what I would like you to do. I look forward to reading all your work. And I will see you very soon. Bye.